guys going on there YouTube? This is Blake Blake's Gamer back with you once again, and today's gonna be part two of New Gaming Stuff episode. I think it's 53 or 54, maybe 52. I can't remember what I wrote. Um, but it'll be up there. Uh, anyway, uh, this is gonna be where I show off my three Craigslist deals I had gotten over the past couple weeks, and some other stuff, uh, and some retro pickups I have. Uh, first off, as you can see here, it's already in the frame. Uh, picked up a. Uh, the steal for 30 bucks from this really, 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 really white, trashy, red Mickey lady. I don't know. But uh, it came with a complete in box Yobo FC Twin, um, which looks brand new, like it's never been played. Um, so I have one of these now. Don't know what I'm really going to do with it since I have the main systems, but. I have it. Uh, so like I said, it was 30 bucks, and it came with some really great games. Uh, came with two NES games, which I already have, so I'm going to either sell or trade these off. Um, first up is Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link the Gold Cart. It's in pretty good shape. And a uh, really nice copy of Super Mario Bros. 3. So got uh, those two games and uh, then we got Act Razor by Enix we got the Billiard Congress of America presents Championship Pool I'm uh, glad to get this one I don't have it Donkey Kong Country I already have this one but this is another nice cart and that's The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past I really wish I hadn't bought some of these games now. But, oh well. We can always trade. Uh, and the main thing I bought this for, uh, I kind of saw a glimpse of it. It was kind of like that in the picture. And I could barely make out what it looked like. And I just saw by the colors and the, and the where the you know logos were and everything. And I said, that looks like Secret of Mana. So I called her up and I said, uh, Hi, I'm interested in your uh, in your game offer. And she said, okay. Uh, I said, Can you, could you read me off the list of the games? And she said, yeah, I got uh, uh, Secret of Mania. And that's when I knew I had to get it uh, because she actually did have it. And that is Secret of Mana or Mana, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I've been wanting for a really long time. Uh, I like the, the Mana series. I've played, I believe it's Dawn of Mana on the PS2. I really enjoyed it. Um, I played another one on the DS. But, uh, yeah, never played the original. Never had a copy of this. cart is very, very clean. Very, very excited to have this. Uh, this alone was, if I had to go buy it, is worth more than all this other stuff, what I paid for. So... Um, not only did I get this for a cheaper price, but I got all this other stuff for free. So, yeah, so I got that. That was my favorite Craigslist deal, I guess you could say. Uh, then I was at the flea market, and I bought this, uh, fight stick from the original Xbox, called the Reflex. Uh, and it comes with a demo disc of Tao Fing. Or something, um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a really neat bike stick, and it was complete in box. So excited to pick that up. Uh, also, while I was there, I saw this on the corner. It's this Resident Evil uh, Magnum and knife set for the Wii, and uh, I had some credit, so I decided to get it. it. Comes with a little thing you put on the Wii nunchuck, and that comes with a cover for your Wii mote of skin. And so I saw this sitting over there, and I decided to get it. And I didn't even realize, but it actually came with uh, Resident Evil, The Dark Side Chronicles, the game. And the game used at GameStop says it's $26.99. So uh, I think I paid like 18 bucks for the set. Uh, that's pretty cool. And it's all brand new and everything. The only reason they had to open it was to make sure when they, uh, when they bought it off the dude who uh, sold it to him that everything was in there. So I got that, and you know, just I just wanted to see what the value of it was. 
went on to Amazon.com and typed in uh, Resident Evil Gun Wii. Okay. And uh, this popped up. And I said, well, I bought that. Might as well have to say, go ahead and have the complete set. So I picked up the Resident Evil Shot Blaster, which is pretty much a Wii Zapper, but Resident Evil. And it comes with the same thing. It comes with the uh, little thing you put on the nunchuck and the skin. So decided to get that. I thought that was really neat. Definitely really cool. It doesn't come with any game or anything, but this was only $9.99 brand new. They had a bunch of them on Amazon, so... Uh, if you're looking for a new Wii Zapper, or if you're a huge Resident Evil fan, you just want a cool, you know, display piece. This is really neat. And also, got the Xbox 360 MLG Edition Vault, which, you know, they really don't have a clear picture of this thing. But you can kind of see here on the back what it does uh, so here this is what the front of your Xbox looks like uh, for the slim models I'll have an MLG plate down there which is pretty cool um, so your Xbox goes inside of this this contraption and then it has this big helmet face on the one side that lights up uh, red and blue eyes so decided to get that and it helps improve your cooling and uh, the stability of your Xbox from falling over and everything and I thought that was really neat uh, next thing is another Craigslist deal I got. I got two in Nintendo 64s. Not going to show them. Everybody knows what in Nintendo 64 looks like. Uh, came with two of the regular gray controllers, um, and it came with the uh, two see-through controllers, which I didn't know. But these see-through controllers are actually selling for quite a bit now. Uh, so it came with the Atomic Purple one, which is like a twenty-dollar controller now, and. Uh, the charcoal black one. I'm um, going to be keeping the charcoal black one. I'm going to be trading or selling the uh, atomic purple one. Uh, and also selling the 2N64s. So, we're trading. So, if you need an N64, hit me up with an offer. Shipping will probably be a little expensive on it because it is a system. But, uh, so, I got all of that plus 14 games uh, for 60 bucks. 60 bucks? 60 bucks. Uh, so I'm going to go through the games here. These four games I already have, so these will be out. I'll, I'll be trading them off. Um, so if you want to make me an offer, PM me. Um, they're really good titles. So we got Perfect Dark. Front of the cart's very nice. So is the top. Back's got a little damage. Star Fox 64. Nice cart. Mario Kart 64. Once again, nice cart. And Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. So, like I guess I already had those. Um, but I bought it for these other games here. Uh, didn't have 1080 snowboarding. NFL Blitz 2000. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Army Men Sarge's Heroes. I really got to get this one here. Uh, Wave Race 64. Uh, Quake 2. I thought I had Goldeneye, but I had lost my copy somewhere. So uh, it's a little banged up, but hey, it's a copy of Goldeneye. It says Goldeneye on the time. A little banged up, but it's okay. Uh, and Win Back Covert Operations. Uh, the last game here is what I bought the entire set for. Um, it's a little bit worse shape uh, than what I thought it was going to be in. But nonetheless, it's a very, very a sought after game on the system. And it's a game I've been wanting to play forever because I've heard so much good things about it. And I'm a huge fan of the series. But I've never played this one or the Super Nintendo version. Uh, and that is Harvest Moon 64. As you can see, my label is a little faded. But it's all completely intact. Yeah, everything's in nice shape on this. Um, this is like a $40 to $50 game by itself. So $60 bucks for the lot and it includes this. I didn't have all these other games. I'll pay that all day. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited to get this. I have played it a little bit. It is as good as everybody says it is. I'm hoping maybe, maybe 3DS Remake or 3DS Port or something. That would be awesome. But uh, that's just a maybe. 
Uh, next thing up here is I spent oh, around 80 bucks or something. I don't know. Something like 80 or 90. I, I don't know if I really got a deal. Uh, I usually, you guys know me, I only get stuff usually if I get a deal on it. But um, it's just something I want. Uh, something you don't see very often, especially in my area. And uh, something that's just uncommon. And uh, not saying that it's, it's worth anything um, or anything like that, but it's just something I really wanted. And that was the Atari 2600, the, uh, the Black Edition or Darth Vader Edition, however you want to say it. Uh, system. And it came comes with a it's a complete box. Let me open it here for you. Complete with Pac-Man and everything. Um, great shape. It's like it's been never been played. Uh, the guy said that it's built with his wife's when she was a kid, and. Uh, you know, as soon as they got bored with it, they just put it back in the box and put it away. So, uh, not only did it come with this, but they also kept all their games. Which isn't a bunch of games, but it had some gems. Uh, oh, and here's the uh, instruction manual that goes with that, that box. Um, so, we've got Phoenix complete in box. Um, I've never had boxed Atari 2600 games before. Never seen them. And what's cool is, you know, back then they didn't have computers or anything. And, I mean, look at all this stuff you got with your game. You got a DC comic book about, you know, the game. You have your strategy guide, which of course all full color strategy guides. Or not, stra uh, instruction manuals. Or instruction booklets. And then they give you one of these. And they update it every time new games come out. And that's the Atari product catalogs. So this is the this one has 49 different games in it. Um, there's other ones that have like I think 46 or 45 or 50 uh, and stuff like that. I mean it just goes through and it goes through each genre and shows you all the cool games to look out for. And you know you didn't have your magazine and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Really, you know, I didn't grow up during this time, but it brought a lot of nostalgia on how I used to buy my games back, you know, on the 64 and all that. You know, just word of mouth and word of eye and saying, hey, that looks like a cool game. Let me, ch I'm, I'm going to get that one this week or this month or whatever. So that's something really neat. I got the Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. This one's kind of a funny box because it opens like that. So. So we got that. Then we got Asteroids, Yars Revenge. And some of these do come with comic books. Yars Revenge came with a comic book. Uh, Reactor is another one of these games that does this. And I mean, all this stuff is in mint condition. Like, really, like they played it once and said heck with it and put it away. Uh, here we go. Centipede. Centipede has a comic book with it, too. Uh, Indiana Jones. Really fun one here. Galaxian. And the best one out of the lot, uh, which is something I've also wanted for a very long time. And uh, haven't even found a card only version, but I uh, found this one. This is uh, the original Mario Brothers on the Atari 2600. Uh, really excited to get this one. Here's the cart. So a lot of people don't still don't think that you know Mario is only on Nintendo consoles and all that. But here's the instruction guide. This one's kind of cool too, this instruction. It kind of folds out. It's got some cool artwork. Everything. That was really cool. 
This one actually comes with a big poster of all the Atari 2600 games and stuff. So, really, really, this is that 1983 uh, game catalog, um, and they made it into a poster. So, that's really cool. Uh, mainly, I got this this whole lot for the uh, Atari boxed and the Pac-Man boxed and the Mario Brothers. I've seen Mario Brothers go for somewhere around $25, so I said 75 bucks for a box system and games isn't too bad. But uh, really, I just bought this because I wanted it. It is something really, really neat to add to the collection. So last but not least, uh, I got my stuff I got uh, from some a couple eBay sellers and stuff. This is from the Stone Age Gamer. They had them on sale for like four bucks. Went ahead and picked up a spare 72 pin connector. Never know when you're going to need one of those. Uh, Commodore. I bought some Vic, uh, Vic 20 games here. We got uh, Speed Math and Bingo Math. And we got uh, Cosmic Cruncher. It's for that system that's up there, kind of, if you can see the box in the corner. It's a really old computer. I think it was the, uh, I think it came out, it was like the second computer after the uh, 64. It, but it wasn't as popular as the 64. And then I think I got all of these off of Amazon.com, I sure did. These are all only like a dollar a piece. Uh, and they came, their cases and all were in pretty good shape. Now we got Big Bass Fishing. Y'all know me, love my fishing games. I uh, decided to pick these up. A couple racers. We got Motocross Mania 1. And 2. 2's got a little water damage. You can kind of see it bubbling up there. And I uh, picked up Rainbow Six. The original. On the PS1. I think I also got this on the Dreamcast. I'm guessing the Dreamcast version will be a tad bit better. Uh, then I uh, bought this off of eBay because I want to try to get all the tin gun carts and uh, saw skull and crossbones up there for a pretty nice price. I decided to pick that up. It's like a brand new clean cart. And then I got, went to my uh, local, when I bought the Resident Evil gun. Also picked up Karate Champ on the NES and California Games. Pretty nice shape on those two NES games. They're like two bucks a piece. Uh, these were three bucks a piece here. These almost look like replica carts, not going to lie because of how clean they are, but uh, I've never seen these in person. I didn't even know this one existed. Uh, it's called Clue Clue Land. Apparently it's one of the original Black Label NES games. Never knew it existed, but look how clean this is. It looks almost like it's a reproduction cart, uh, but they're not, which is which is good. But um, yeah, and I picked, also picked up Balloon Fight. Because I've never played the original Balloon Fight. I've always played like the little mini games they give you in other games. Never played an actual copy of Balloon Fight. So I'll pick that up. And I believe that is everything for this video, guys. Uh, so yeah, I've got tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Tons of stuff. Too much stuff. For, way too much money. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for some uh, upcoming videos. <coughs> I just wanted to get all this done so I could put it away. Still don't feel too awesome, but uh, hopefully when I start feeling a little better, make a couple more videos. I got a gaming news video I'm going to film later tonight as well, because um, there's some interesting articles I want y'all to know about. Uh, so that'll come up probably before this video came out. Um, and... Uh, we got a... We've got a Q&A coming up 
eventually. Um, I'm going to try out the live stream thing, so let me down below, know down below which days work best for you guys for live streaming. Uh, I'm thinking Saturday nights or uh, Monday nights, something like that. Um, there's going to be a uh, viewer's choice coming up. I want to do a new collection video. I want you guys to help me decide which one it's going to be. Um, and... Yeah, that's about it. I, I got a couple uh, gaming tips and stuff, you know, collecting tips. I want to start doing a little series on that. But, uh, yeah, so thanks for watching the video, guys. I know this one went on a little longer, even though I had less stuff. I wanted to talk about some stuff, though. And uh, thank you all for watching. And we're almost at 1,600 subs, which is amazing. Probably by the time this video is out, I'll hit 1,600. But, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for all your support. And we're going to like my Facebook page to be updated with all the newest pictures, photos, links, and whatever I'm up to. And uh, we'll see you right back here next time on Blake's Game Room. Peace out, YouTube.